Hi, everyone. I'm Rabbi Dr. Maury Schwartz, the International Director of the Florence Melton School. In this week's Parsha, Parsha Kitisa, we hear of the, um, the bringing down of the two tablets of stone upon which the Ten Commandments were written, the Aser de Brot. And when he got down to the bottom of the mountain and he saw the worshiping of the golden calf, the Torah tells us, as soon as Moses came near the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, he became enraged and he hurled the tablets from his hands and shattered them at the foot of the mountain. Wow, shattered these holy tablets? Is that allowed? The very last verse of the Torah in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 34, verse 12, in describing how great Moses was, he's described for all the great and mighty awesome power that Moses displayed before the eyes of Israel. And Rashi there, at the very end of the Torah, tells us, what was the greatest thing Moses did in the eyes of all of Israel? He shattered the Luchot. He smashed the Ten Commandments, those two holy tablets of stone in front of everyone. That's the greatest thing he did in front of all of the people. Um, Rashi's not being sarcastic. He's alluding to an, a position that the rabbis have, which is that Moses did something very special in smashing those tablets. When Moses came down that mountain, he saw them worshiping an idol, a golden calf. He said, there's no holiness in these stones. Right on one of the stones, it says, you shall not make any other graven images. You shall not make any idols. And he says, these are worthless. Shatters them to teach an important lesson. The holiness of the Torah, the holiness of that safer Torah that's going to adorn your synagogue someday soon. The holiness of that comes from the fact that you care about it from the fact that you follow its teachings, from the fact that you build a community around all of the values therein.